The Curtis Wright VZ-7 was an experimental vertical takeoff and landing aircraft developed in response to the United States Army's 1957 call for a flying jeep, a lightweight, compact aircraft capable of vertical flight designed for reconnaissance, mobility, and battlefield utility. The project was awarded to Curtis Wright Santa Barbara Division, formerly known as the Aerophysics Development Corporation. Two prototypes with serial numbers 58508 and 58509 were built and delivered to the Army in mid-1958. The VZ-7 featured a minimalist, highly functional design. It had a rectangular fuselage housing a single 425 horsepower Turbo Mecha Artoust 2B turboshaft engine, pilot seat, flight controls, and fuel and lubricant tanks. Four vertically mounted propellers with variable pitch were located at the aircraft's corners. Originally equipped with ducted fan shrouds to enhance lift and safety, these were later removed to reduce weight and potentially improve aerodynamic efficiency. Control was achieved by adjusting the thrust of individual propellers for directional movement, while yaw was managed using vanes in the engine's exhaust. The VZ-7 could hover, take off and land vertically and maintain stable, controlled flight. It was praised for being easy to fly and mechanically simple, capable of being transported in a standard military truck. However, performance limitations, including a maximum speed of only 51 kilometers per hour and a practical ceiling of 61 meters, rendered it unsuitable for military use. The unprotected rotors posed additional hazards to the pilot and ground crew, Despite performing well in initial tests, the aircraft failed to meet the Army's operational standards and was retired in 1960. One VZ-7 survives today in storage at the United States Army Aviation Museum in Fort Novacell, Alabama, preserving the legacy of one of the more innovative yet ultimately impractical attempts to create a true flying jeep.